So move your hands like this, visualizing energy coming out from your fingers into the shoulder. The gift of healing you were born with. I know you can do it because I know you were born a healer. One of the most exciting and rewarding things about Qigong is helping others, helping to relieve someone else's pain, helping them to heal from an injury or disease. What I wanted to teach you now is a technique called Assort Fingers. It is the initial healing technique I teach all my students, and you can learn it in a matter of minutes. It is very easy to learn, very simple, and yet it can be very, very helpful. The first step is to form your sword fingers by putting your first finger and your middle finger together like this. There is nothing mystical about holding your sword fingers this way. It is just a technique for helping you to direct the power of your mind, and more importantly, the power of your heart. Your thoughts can be a very powerful form of energy and your heart is where the healing energy truly comes from. As Gandhi said, love is the most powerful force the world possesses. That is most certainly true when it comes to healing. Now, put a smile on your face. Do you know what S-M-I-L-E stands for? Start my internal love engine. Putting a smile on your face helps you open your heart and love is the most powerful form of healing energy. The person you are helping can be sitting, standing, or lying down. It doesn't matter. Just ask them to close their eyes. Breathe slowly, gently, deeply, and just relax. In Qigong, you learn that the underlying cause of any pain or sickness in the body is an energy blockage. At this level, you will need to ask your friend where the problem is. Now we know and uh, Nikki has an energy blockage in the shoulder. So I'm going to visualize that healing energy is flowing from my heart and through my short fingers into the energy blockage in Nikki's shoulder. And you point the short fingers to the shoulder. You can move your fingers either in a circular way or a sliding way or a chopping motion. Either way will work. So move your hands like this, visualizing energy coming out from your fingers into the shoulder, breaking up the energy blockage. It takes just about 30 seconds. After that, now you open your hand, your hands like this, and visualizing energy shooting out from your fingers into the shoulder and take hold of the blockage as smoke and pull it out and throw it away pull it out and throw it away pull it out and throw it away keep moving like this for another one minute or two uh, maybe sometimes a little bit longer while you're doing so you repeat in your mind the channels are open. The channels are open. The pain is gone. You are completely healed. The pain is gone. You are completely healed. Keep pulling like that. At the very beginning, when you move the blockage, you feel kind of a stringy, sticky feeling in your hand. It's just like you know, the feeling of you pulling a spaghetti or a taffy or whatever. And I've, up to you pull it for a while and then the sensation is getting less and less and that means the blockage is going away not necessarily everybody is going to feel something some people you know don't feel anything that's okay and it still works so just keep pulling like that and that when you feel the blockage is gone then you open your hand using the middle of your palm sending energy giving energy back to the shoulder where you remove the blockage nine times one two three four five six seven eight nine and then you ask your friend to take three gentle deep breaths
Now rub your hands. And massage your face. Feel good now? Thank Great. you so much. That is it. It's just that simple. Try it and you will see. The more confidence you have, the more focused you are, the more effective you can be. The key is your desire to help, the love and compassion you have in your heart. This is where the healing energy comes from. The gift of healing is one you have always had. Now you know a technique you can use to share this gift with your family, your friends, or anyone. Just give it a try and see what happens. Never underestimate the power of the human mind, or more importantly, the power of the human heart. Like Gandhi said, love is the most powerful force we have. One more wonderful point is, that the more healing energy you send out to others, the more healing energy you will draw into yourself. It's the law of attraction. What you send out comes back to you. So I hope you will give sword fingers a try and experience the gift of healing you were born with. I know you can do it because I know you were born a healer.